this area. Now, I think the council could have a publicity committee, publicity board. Publicity is very important in this particular country and in this effort. Uh, now recently we have been talking about having the Armenian compatriotic unions get together and agree on an Armenian National Martyrs Day. We have talked about this on separate occasions and one of my friends who has advocated this is here tonight. I think this organization could bring that about, prepare the proper uh, appeal to the churches, to the both Echmiadze and Antiyas, and also to the Armenian government to set aside one day per year for all of the Armenian martyrs, not just the Antiyas. Heroes, heroes. Heroes, martyrs. Not martyrs. Well, heroes. Heroes who gave up their life to defend the honor and dignity of their families and their countrymen. My hat's off to them. Uh, other, other committees, as become necessary, can be formed and organized by the central board of the uh, council. Now, obviously, this council is not a fundraising organization, excuse me, other than the committee that's working on the Armenia Fund annual telethon. So, the council really doesn't have any funds, and they have not solicited anyone for funds so they cannot do anything. I imagine that they will have some expenses. Now, the council at one of its first sessions will organize or will have it organized that we prepare a budget for the following year. I visualize that every one of the participating organizations will agree to share equally in putting the budget together, enough money to operate for one year. And this process will be occur first of every year. New budget, new assessment, and all partners agreeing to participate in the council will have a check made and set to the organization at the proper time immediately. Okay, how do we get this process started? <clears throat> we don't have a whole lot of money, except I think maybe we can bend ARPA's board's arms to allocate the necessary funds to start the proper publicity and perhaps pay for any printing that may be necessary. But the first thing that we would like to do to get this started is solicit and recruit a group of volunteers made up of our community leaders in this Southern California region to work with us, with the APA board, perhaps not every one of the board members, Definitely, I'm speaking for my friend, Hago. He will participate and I will participate, definitely. But to get this group together is one of the very, very important and the very first steps. Without the cooperation and the input of our Armenian community leaders and the good name of their office, we will not succeed if we 
could have succeeded. We won't have this meeting. We would have gone and started doing what I'm just proposing. So it's very important that at the outset, we have, maybe even tonight, get the names of those who want to work with us. I am not afraid of working. I will do everything that I am asked to do, even more. But the thinking, the intelligence, the, uh, the sense of the community, the pulse of the community, has to come from our community leaders. So that's the very first, very important step. Second step would be to have this group immediately undertake preparing an Articles of Incorporation, which will spell out exactly what this organization is about, how it's going to get formed, how it's going to function, how it's going to be funded, the whole, you know, the whole operating and, and uh, objectives, the bylaws of this organization. That would be the first step. And it is also very, very important that this document be all-inclusive. Because once you put it down, in my opinion, it will not be very effective if it has to be revised every time you go to an organization. It has to be the first <clears throat> document which has to stand the test of everybody's needs, be inclusive of everybody's needs, and not be subject to revision till a council is formed. After this council is formed, then that body can revise the bylaws or the Articles of Incorporation with majority or with some kind of vote. Uh, I don't think that we are going to be absolutely unanimous in everything we do because there are controversial subjects. There are sensitive issues. But if we, get, if we can get a majority, and the council will decide what that majority should be, not necessarily a simple majority, but it might be uh, 70 percent or 80 percent, whatever they decide. With that <laughs> decision, the Articles of Incorporation or the bylaws can be revised just like any other organization. The step that we would take after forming or after preparing this Articles of Incorporation would be to publicize. We need to publicize through the media, maybe even television, newspapers, uh, announce uh, what has been done and uh, uh, distribute it to those who might be interested in joining. Then, following the publicity, a selected group of people, not necessarily the same every time, but a selected two or three people may make an appointment, excuse me, make an appointment with the privacy, for instance, or the diocese, make an appointment, go with a copy of the Articles of Incorporation and talk with them and explain to them the importance and the desirability and all of the good things to encourage them to sign the document and become a member of the council. Uh, this may not happen on the spot. If they're like our organizations, they would want to go through their boards and hassle or consider this. And upon the approval of their board, then they can join, sign to join or refuse to join. And again, I don't expect that everybody that we approach